What's up guys welcome back to yet another interesting video so in this video we'll be doing a speed test between Apple's iPhone 13 with that of iQ90 so iQ90 comes with Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 and Apple 13 comes with A15 Bionic chip which is based on 5nm technology and iQ is based on 4nm technology iQ comes with 8 GB of RAM and iPhone 13 comes with 4 GB of RAM so we'll do side by side comparison we'll try to open the apps few basic applications followed by some heavy applications social media applications and at last we'll also load the heavy games we'll see which device loads the application faster and after that we'll also show you guys which device heats up more when we play heavy games and along with that we'll also compare the benchmark results and talking about costing so apple iphone 13 will cost you right now approximate around 65 to 70 thousand but iq 90 you can get it for 50 thousand with bank offers you can get it for somewhere around 48 49 thousand rupees but here in this video we'll compare the a15 bionic chip with that of snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 and guys before starting this speed test let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever they upload a new video now without wasting any more time let's get started so on iphone 13 we are running ios 16 beta 8 update which is i think the final update of beta and there won't be much of difference when we compare it with the stable build so you won't see much of difference in the app loading speed or you can say you know uh, benchmark testing and other stuff on iQ90, we have the stock Android based on Android 12, which is the latest and stable build installed on iQ90. So here we have both the phones towards the left hand side, we have iQ90 and towards the right hand side, we have iPhone 13. So these are the applications which we'll be testing out. Here you can see both the phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And on iQ90, we have disabled the gaming booster feature because that mostly restricts on the RAM management and clear applications from the background so first we'll clear all the applications from the background so right now you can see we don't have any applications running in the background on both these phones so first we'll start with one reboot test and we'll see which device boots up faster and guys we'll also be rendering a video with a resolution of 4k at 30 fps the video length is around one minute so first let's start with the boot test and we'll see which device boots up faster at the same time i'll press the power button and we'll see which device is gonna boot up faster so we'll start that in three two and one So here booting up was faster on iPhone 13 followed by iQ90 which took additional 2 seconds or 3 seconds to boot up. Once again let me show you any recent app. So here we don't have any recent app. And guys remember this is 8GB variant and iPhone comes with 4GB of RAM. So first we'll start with the clock application. And that was slightly faster on iPhone 13. We'll leave it running in the background with the stopwatch. Next application is camera application. So let's open it up. That was again faster on iPhone 13. Switching to front camera now. And that was again faster on iPhone 13. Moving on to the next application which is Chrome. So we'll open up Chrome application. That was faster on iQ90. We'll open up our website here and we'll see which device loads their website faster. It was I think slightly faster on iPhone 13. We'll leave it running in the background. Then we have Instagram, bit faster on iQ90. Okay, here we'll open up the profile and we'll leave it running in the background so that we get a better idea if app gets closed or not. Facebook, slightly faster on iQ90. Amazon, slightly again faster on iQ90. So again, we'll leave it running in the background. Then we have Flipkart faster on iq90 we'll load up the same page then let's go to prime faster on iq90 youtube slightly faster on iq90 and now we have filmora so here we'll import a video which is of one minute and the resolution is 4k at 30 fps so let's open up filmora was faster on iq90 tapping on new project so here we have that video, we'll select the same video, tapping on next.
and here you can see iQOO is way faster than iPhone 13 in importing the same video. When iPhone 13 was at 50%, iQOO completed the import of the video. iPhone took a lot of time, so now let's add a same filter on the entire video. Let me check. Yes, it's applied on the entire video. We'll select the filter and the same filter will apply it on this video too. So here intensity is set to 100. Let's keep it 100 here also. So we have applied the entire theme and you can see the video length is around 60.7 seconds. By default, video will be exported in 720p. So let's tap on export. So here you can see it is set to 720p. FPS will be 30 itself. So let's tap on export now. So here exporting of video was faster on iPhone 13 compared to iQOO 90. Though if you guys have seen, importing was faster on iQOO 90. Now let's leave this application running in the background, moving on to the game. So first game we have Subway Surfer then Temple Run followed by some heavy games. So we'll start with Subway Surfer first. And here iPhone 13 is faster in loading this game. Next is Temple Run. And that's again bit faster on iPhone 13 compared to iQOO 90. We have Call of Duty. And that loaded up faster on iQOO 90 followed by iPhone 13. Then we have Genshin Impact. So that again opened faster on iPhone 13 followed by iQOO 90. Tapping on start game. Here again iPhone 13 takes the lead. And now let's tap to begin. We'll get a fair idea which device loads the game faster now. So once again iPhone 13 is damn fast in opening heavy games and other stuff. With no doubt A15 Bionic chip is too powerful when it comes to gaming stuff. And we'll show you the benchmark results also. First let's take a look at the RAM management on both these phones. So we'll open up the recents page and we'll start from the first application itself. So here we have the stopwatch or you can say clock application which is still running in the background. Camera obviously this reloads every time guys so ignore that. Chrome and that's also still running in the background. Instagram reloads on iQOO 90 but present on iPhone 13. Facebook still present in the memory. Amazon Amazon also reloads on iQOO 90 but still present in the memory of iPhone 13. Flipkart still present in the memory. Prime Video still running. YouTube YouTube still present on both these phones. Filmora Go. So Filmora Go reloads on both these phones guys. Then we have Subway Surfer. That also reloads on both these phones. Temple Run 2. That's still present in the memory of iQOO 90 but reloads on iPhone 13. Then we have Call of Duty. Reloads on both the phones with no doubt. Genshin Impact. That is still present in the memory of iPhone 13 but reloads on iQOO 90. And now talking about the benchmark results, so here you can see with Geekbench application, single post scores of iPhone 13 is too good, wherein device code 1615, though the multi-core scores are a bit low compared to iQOO. iPhone 13 scores 3471, but if you see the benchmark results on iQOO, wherein single core scores are a bit low, but multi-scores are quite high, device scores 4027. But we have a huge difference in the Antutu benchmark results where you can see iQ90 scores 10,15,411 wherein iPhone 13 only scores 7,78,882. And guys now I'll leave the devices idle so that they cool down. Once they are at normal temperature, we'll do gaming for a few minutes and we'll see which device heats up more. Okay, so we have both the phones here and both the phones are cooled down enough to test out the heating on both these phones. So first we'll do gaming for approximate 3 minutes on iPhone and then followed by iQOO. Along with gaming we'll also do a benchmark testing so that we get a fair idea about the heating on both these phones. So let me show you the temperature right now on iPhone. The temperature is around 27.8. 
so we can consider 28 degree celsius so we'll start this stopwatch now and we'll do gaming for approximate three minutes so as you guys have seen temperature was 27 degree celsius of iphone 13 and now let's see how much temperature reaches after three minutes So after three minutes of gaming and benchmark testing, let's see the device temperature now. We started with 27 degrees Celsius and right now the device temperature is around 32 degrees Celsius. So approximate five degrees Celsius rise in the temperature we can see on iPhone 13. So now let's test the same thing with iQ90 and device temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius. Same way we'll do the gaming for three minutes and after that benchmark testing. Okay, so after three minutes of gaming and benchmark testing, let me show you the temperature of iQ90. So iQ90 have reached up to 33 degrees Celsius, you can say 34 degrees Celsius, wherein we started with approximate 26 degrees Celsius. So bit extra heating to be seen on iQ90 compared to iPhone 13. Okay, so now coming to the conclusion with no doubt, Apple A15 Bionic chip is too powerful. In almost all the scenarios, it was doing better than latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and even heating part was too much on Snapdragon phone, which is iPhone 90. And iPhone 13 was released on September 14th last year. It's almost a year old device and still it is way powerful than the latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And if you guys are planning to upgrade your device, then I would say wait for a few days. BBD sale is about to come and if you get this iPhone 13 for approximate 55 to 65, then it's a pretty good device and it can again last for another two three years but you guys let me know what are your thoughts about this speed test and according to you guys which device performed better in terms of app opening speed ram management and heating stuff when it comes to ram management i think iq90 should have done little better because it has 8 gb ram and iphone 13 only have 4 gb of ram and with no doubt apple optimization is too good and i don't even think that snapdragon smartphones can even come close to apple's chip in another five to seven years but as i said you guys let me know your thoughts about this speed test in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day